In this video, we're going to take a quick look at taking away permissions when you've shared a document previously in OneDrive. So you may need to take away permissions because you've made all the changes and you want to make sure nothing else has changed, or you may want to take away those permissions so you can make some further changes to a document or just clean up who has access to the content on your OneDrive. You can see here that this Excel document's been shared. And when I click on shared, when I hover and click, you can see my manage access panel opens. So I can make some quick changes here and remove access to certain people. And it depends on how it's been shared and who it's been shared with as to what you can do here. You might be able to change people's permissions if you've shared it with multiple people in your company. You might just be able to remove links if you shared it via link or you shared it with external people. So you've got different options here to play with. Have a look and see which one works for you and which one you have access to. So I've got a link that's giving access at the moment. And I've got three dots here where I can see who it's been shared with. It's been shared with an external user and I've got a cross to remove that link. So I can remove that and I can stop Daniel accessing my document. I'm just going to click back a second. And if you click on advanced at the bottom, that's going to give you access to a screen. If you have shared it with internal people and you shared it online, then you're going to be able to manipulate the permissions. So maybe change them from an edit to a view only or a view only to an edit. And you can do that when you click on advanced. I don't have any in there. I've just got an external person I've shared this with. So the only way to take away this access is by clicking on those dots. And I'm just going to click on the cross to remove that. And it's just going to ask me if I'm sure. So once I take away the access, I'd have to give it again for Daniel to be able to access this. So I'm going to delete that link. And now I've got nothing there. As I come back out, it's still saying shared. But if I click back on there, it's saying this item is not shared. And if I just refresh my browser, so it takes a little bit of time to come through. You can see then it's now changed back to private. So it will say shared first. But when you refresh your browser, you go back into that. It's just going to say that it's been removed. It just takes a while to push through. So you can very quickly take away those privileges. And just remember, it depends whether you've shared it with someone internal or external to your company and how you've shared it as to what permissions you've got and how you might take that access back. And if you have a go into this every so often, and definitely look at your shared, go into shared on the left hand side and shared by me every so often just to make sure it's nice and clean. You can see what's being shared and then you can take back any ownership or change any permissions if you need to going forward and it'll just keep it nice and clean and tidy for you to work with.